Welcome to my first App Inventor tutorial. I am going to be showing you how to add Amazon ads to your App Inventor apps and you know make some money. So let's get started. First thing you're going to need, however, is an Amazon Associates account. And it's pretty self explanatory. So go ahead and create that. And that this will pretty much give you access to add the ads to your apps and actually get paid. So go ahead and create that. Let's get back to App Inventor. So first thing you're gonna need in your design window is a web viewer. You're gonna set that with the your parent set the height to 60 pixels, which is pretty much the typical height of a mobile ad or a banner or something like that. Second thing you're gonna need is two timers. Oh my bad, wrong clock timer one, clock timer two. Why do I keep on putting a barcode in this? Okay, so clock two, right. Okay, so you take the all, enabled off, enabled off, clock two, enabled off, enabled off, and then you're gonna set the interval to 2000. The third thing you're gonna need is a activity starter. There we go, activity starter. And this is a must, so don't forget. The action, you're gonna set that to be Android dot intent dot action dot view. Okay, that should be it. Now to do some programming. First thing you want when the screen initialize, you want it to enable the first clock, which is clock one. So it's a clock one timer enable to true. Clock timer enable to true. And when that clock on timer enables now, it's gonna say if. So I need an if statement. If web viewer current URL is not equal. So I need a match statement equal. And then you change the symbol. Remember to change the symbol. This means not equal. See, an equal sign with a slash to it. That means not equal. So, if what your current URL not equal to what your own URL. Let me find that what your own URL. There we go. So if it's not equal to the what your own URL. That is pretty much when you click on the ad, the, the, the current, the, the home URL gonna change the current URL, and that is what we actually need. So, when that changes, we're gonna need the activity starter data URI to be set. Data URI, this is it. So, you wanna set the activity starter data URI to the current URL, so that URL that um, that inside the ad. Great. So that's the current URL, and then we wanna gonna call the activity starter after it set that data URI. So call the activity starter. Now, uh, while the activity starter is started, we should now open your browser to the ad. You're gonna wanna refresh the, um, the, the web viewer. So 
so you're gonna actually want it to go home so you saw it go home and then that process you want it to stop right there so you want the clock timer to enable to pause so you're gonna actually stop the clock on timer and then you want to start the clock two timer clock two timer enabled to true all right now that clock two timer is enabled you want it to do something so when clock two timer enabled we're going to set it to enable clock on timer and repeat this, this said process and then we're going to want it to stop itself so clock two timer disabled and that's pretty much it for the block so go back to the designer with your home url so remember that amazon page this is where it comes in now so so you go there you set up what you have to set up you're gonna get your own list of ads that you want to put on your app so i normally i mean you can choose any size but I prefer to choose one that would fit perfectly and looks neat, kind of not too tacky. So, 234 by 60, which means it's 234 pixels from left to right and 60 pixels from top to bottom. It's gonna look something like this. Yeah, so you're gonna um, copy this URL outside of your um, embed code that Amazon um, actually displays to you. And you'll stop right at the colon right there. You'll copy this code and you set it for your own URL. Great. So now that you have that, you want to um, uncheck this. I don't know how it do, just for his sake, I guess. <laughs> so that should be about it. Let's build this up and see where it gets us so here is our barcode i've already gone ahead and downloaded that um app so let's show you what it what it looks like so this is what i'm gonna install and open and there is our ad and if I click on it like this boom, it opens up to Amazon and it shows me a list of CDs in my browser all this da 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 I press back goes back to my app and yeah that's it pretty much so you'll have your Amazon banner be waving on your app and yeah, that's it pretty much. So thanks for watching. Any questions, check the comment box and subscribe. Thank you.